Peace everybody, this is Skates. Today I'm coming at you with a video on my workflow with machine integrated into Ableton. Uh, before I get into anything, I just wanted to give a special shout out to my new subscribers, my new followers. Um, I guess I'll just continue to drop you know, little hints and gems here every now and again when I find out something cool. Seems to be the content that y'all want to see. Um, so without you know any further ado, let's get into it. So of course you want to go ahead and bring up machine. You want to hit the tab key and machine, it'll bring up the mixer. It'll already be selected on sound one. You want to hit the shift key and select 16. Hit the IO key, go down to MIDI out, click host. It'll automatically number them one through 16. Now this is the only one that does that. I'll point that out. They should have like an ascending number underneath of all the labels. So it knows to automatically go from that number all the way to 16. But I digress, do the same exact thing here. Set that to host. Hold the shift key, click sound one. It'll take it off of that. You want to select one through 16 for all the rest of these. And I'll quickly do that. Want to do the same exact thing for the audio output, set like the external outs. So select outs one through 16 on all these individual sounds as well. Control A again to select them all, hit the tab key to get out of the mixer. Click this cogwheel, go to input, go to MIDI, turn through off because it's annoying. And that'll automatically turn through off on all of them. Click the plugin key again to get out of that. Right click here. If you want to, you can save this as a uh, DAW host template if you use this in other DAWs. Um, you could also save this as a project and open this project up project up, up another DAWs if you decide to use another DAW in the future. If not, I mean, it's good to still just have because you never know. Hit control A again to get rid of all of the uh, other sounds you selected. Um, double check here to make sure that this is going 111222333 all the way down through to 16 because it's annoying to find out that something isn't routing the way that it's supposed to later on down the line. So I don't need any of these. Actually, I'll need this one. So I'll get rid of these two. Hit control F to open up the browser. Search for external instrument. Thanks. Double click it. MIDI 2, you want to select machine 2. Select machine 2 underneath of the uh, input. I'm sorry, the output. And then for the audio output under audio from, you want to select 2. So this is going to be sound 1 with the actual machine plugin on it. This is going to be sound 2. I'll duplicate this. This here is going to be sound three. So we select from the second one for the MIDI out three audio out three. Skates. Duplicate this again. This will be four. And so on all the way to 16. And I'll just quickly do that. So once you got that set, select the original sound one, of course, is the, again, the one that actually has machine on it all the way to the last channel you created and then click control G and that'll create a group. And what I like to do is name this machine routing. And then I rename all of these so I know exactly which sound I'm looking at. Now you got 16 sounds, 16 outputs. I'll bring this in so it's a little bit smaller so I can see everything. And then so that you never have to create this again. If you don't already, underneath of the places, you want to create like a projects folder 
I have one that's dedicated to just templates and things that I use. You can actually grab this and drag it directly in there and that'll let you drag the whole thing in. When I'm ready to use this, I already have one here so I can actually just drag this in. Never have to create that again. Now let's talk about how this actually works. So you go back to sound one to bring up machine. Most important thing you want to do underneath of groups and it'll show up underneath the groups. Make sure routing is deselected. Make sure patterns is deselected. If that's white, make sure that this turned off for the reason being, if it's not, what will happen is every single time you load a kit, you load a sound, you load anything, it will reset and that's not what you want. Here's an example of how it works. So I just loaded a kit and to show you that it's routing the right way. You got 16 sounds. Now you can't just bring this down here for a second. You cannot just arm one of these record it, and bring it in, which makes me pissed because it will make everything so much more efficient and so much quicker. So unfortunately, what you have to do is create a whole group or a pattern, I should say, within this actual group and then drag it into Ableton. And that's how the, this is how that works. Terrible example, but this is how it actually works is the application. So this icon here is for dragging MIDI patterns out. You can actually drag that directly into machine. Click that to deselect the pattern so it doesn't create a MIDI feedback loop. And you can actually play this as a whole scene. If you don't work in this view, you can also work in the arranger view with this the same exact way. And I'll just quickly do that again. Bring up machine. drag from here and as you can see it'll bring up a group here and it works there like so now this also works with other sounds inside a machine for instance if you were to load a sound and machine on any one of these uh, 16 that will work the same exact way anything you do in keyboard mode will also translate directly out so when you drag it out you'll still have your melodies if you make your melodies inside a machine i personally like this workflow for the reason being that i'm not somebody who likes to immediately bounce everything out to wave i like to still have that midi data that way if i ever need to let's say i play a bad note and somebody wants to buy the beat off me at a later time i can go back in because i still have the midi data and uh, edit that MIDI data if I'm like playing out of key or I notice something that I don't like um, and I also can't take credit for this at all I always like to give credit out when I find anything like this I actually found this out from this guy named Money Pizzle on YouTube funny dude uh, he also has some cool videos on like gameplay and different things like that but he's a machine and Ableton user um, so yes that was all I wanted to show today uh, thanks again for you watching um, I hope y'all learned something y'all be blessed